Palmetto State Dagger. We have a very love-hate relationship, if you couldn't tell by the part one of our most extreme torture test video on YouTube. Today we're going to be doing a series of not-so-practical tests to see if we can somehow stop this dagger because on all the first tests, it passed every single one. So we're going to see if we can try something different. Keep in mind, this is not the same dagger we used in the first video. That one is long gone. This is a fresh one, although you're probably wondering why it looks like it got shot with a shotgun. That's because it did. We used it in a previous video for an optic test. But let's get straight to the point. And first and foremost, let's get right into it on today's episode of Racks and Recoil. First things first, we're just loading up a few rounds in the magazine just to show you that the gun runs perfectly fine before we start this test. So we're just going to walk over here to the target. Now, don't roast me. This is not an accuracy test. It's literally just to see if the gun cycles. I know I can't shoot. Tell me something I don't know. All right, you saw it here first. The gun is perfectly functional before we begin the test. Now let's get right into it. To start it off with, just like the first video, we're gonna throw it. Now the first throw, a little weak, but I've been practicing with Tom Brady himself. So let's see if we can get her a little farther this time. The gun is safe and clear. Uh, yeah, just like the first test. It didn't really do anything, but we'll shoot three or four rounds through it anyway, just to prove it to you. After we got back to the table and loaded up a couple rounds in the mag, I looked at the gun a little more. It actually knocked the back sight a little to the right. But other than that, it's just cosmetic, like dirt and stuff like that. But uh, now I really have an excuse not to hit the target. I think there's three or four rounds. I don't remember how many put them, not gonna lie. Still functions. Uh, test number two. And uh, I know you guys have seen those YouTube videos where people like close their dogs with the leash on in the car doors and stuff and then they drive with them. So uh, we're gonna do that, but with a gun, with a gun, not a dog. Let's get right into it. You just saw us <laughs> drive it behind the truck. Everything seems to be 100% functional except for the accuracy is about to get a hell of a lot worse because we no longer have a front sight on this gun anymore. So uh, yeah, we're definitely just going to be blind firing at the target. But lucky for everybody, you can get uh, Glock sights pretty cheap, the little factory plastic OEM ones. Uh, I'm pretty, I'm almost 100% sure that they work on here. But uh, let's go load up a mag and see if it works after that. All right, we have 10 rounds of Blazer Brass loaded into the mag. Just standard 115, by the way, and not that it's really going to make that big of a difference, but I thought you guys might want to know. Let's see if I can hit this with no front sight. See that trigger stick a little bit there? And it's clear. Uh, you can look at the target. Definitely not as good as when we had sights, but uh, I hope that little spider's still there when we come back to shoot because it's going to get it. But definitely not as accurate as it was. I did have a little bit of an issue with the trigger just sticking a little bit, but there's also a lot of dirt and crud in here now because of that. Wonder how that happened. But uh, let's move on to the next test. Test number three, I think. We're going to call this the, the Bath and Body Works test. Because what we have in this pan is melted candle wax. Scented. Don't know what flavor. Scent, whatever. Same thing. It could taste like that too, but we're going to dump it over this gun with 10 rounds of ammo. And then we're going to see if it cycles. So we're going to dump it, let it sit and harden, and then we're going to see if it functions. Oh, it's so nasty. It's going to get all on the inside of that. Oh no. If this gun runs after this, I'm going to be very surprised, but there's only one way to find out. You never know. You could get into a shootout in Bath and Body Works, and this is going to be important to know. Let the wax set just for a minute. It's still really freaking hot. I just touched it, but we're going to see if we can peel it 
off the table. <laughs> this is gonna fly back and hit me in the face again. I already know it. Uh oh, the trigger stuck. See if I can push it back out. Uh, did we get a reset? No, we didn't. Uh oh. How does it cycle so good the first seven shots ish and then decide to come back out and not work? All right, we have a stoppage. We still have a couple rounds to spare. Try that again. Okay, after that, not so bad. Can't stop the Palmetto State dagger. <laughs> Just to show you how deep this wax got into the gun, you can see it on the recoil spring rod. It's all on the barrel. I know it's hard to see because the wax was kind of clear, but I mean, it is absolutely everywhere in this gun and these little pores that they have in the slide don't help either that just made it even worse um, it's all in the chamber area I can see it all shiny I don't know how let me flip it over right here it's even in there with the striker the striker spring and everything but it's somehow still passed for those part we had that one hiccup right there but uh, as soon as we ejected the round it started working flawlessly again I have no idea what number test we're on we're just gonna call this the Harambe test because we're gonna try Gorilla Glue on the PSA dagger to see if we can put it around the slide and bind it to the frame and see if it'll still cycle. But to make this test possible, we're gonna go ahead and load it. And now we're gonna put super glue around the edges to see if we can hold the gun shut and get it to fail. We're gonna give it a minute to sit and see what happens. We're gonna see if the super glue around the slide in the frame can get this gun to fail. Personally, I think it's gonna fail. Uh, I don't think it's gonna work. We let it sit for probably about 20 minutes. I know it's not how long you're supposed to, but it's already getting like pretty tacky. So uh, it's solidifying just a little bit. And um, I'm, the reason I think it's gonna stop is because you can put your thumb on the back of the slide and it'll stop it. So I think the force all around the gun I just don't think it's going to compete with this, but here we go. Well, I sure didn't think that was going to happen. You can still see the super glue on the slide mixed with the candle wax now. And I don't know, I got to think of something to stop this gun. Super glue can't do it, candle wax can't do it, dragging in behind the truck can't do it, can 12 gauge birdshot do it. Also, don't judge my target, I forgot the tape, so uh, <laughs> we stuck the golf club in the mag grip of the pistol. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> and now it's leaning up against the target. All right, here we go. Safe to say that's a hit, I think. Nice. Um, you know, I'll be honest, it really didn't do what it did on the first time we did this test. Um, it might have messed up the receiver, like right there, but. When we did it on this side for the optics test, it went all the way through the grip and everything like that. And uh, I'm filling it in here and I don't think any of those rounds went through. Maybe up here, we'll find out. I'm starting to think that the super glue and wax acted as like an armor for the gun and it caught the bird shot. Uh, it definitely hit it, there's no denying that. I mean, you can see the marks all over it. 
but um, I don't know, maybe I'm going to start wax coating all my guns now, just in case they get hit. Let's load up a mag, test it out. Ten more rounds, I'm sure this gun's going to be just fine, but for proof. Listen, I need you guys to understand <laughs> this next test was not my idea. I protested this idea, didn't want to do it because it's absolutely disgusting. Cameraman Mason, on the other hand, thought it would be a fantastic idea because he brought up a solid point. What if you're at Whole Foods and you're in the condiments aisle and you get into a gunfight, ketchup, mustard, barbecue sauce, mayonnaise, pink sauce starts going flying all over the floor and your gun falls in a tub of mayonnaise. Well, it's important to know if your gun's gonna cycle. Lucky for you guys, Braxton Recoil is gonna test that today. <laughs> this is so nasty. I'm all for putting it on a sandwich or something, but straight mayonnaise? <laughs> oh no. This is disgusting, bro. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Do we have to do this? Yes. No. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, that's enough. Can't forget the mustard. No. Oh my god. No. Oh no. Okay, that's enough. Oh no. Now pick it up. No. <laughs> Oh, that is so nasty. <laughs> oh, that's so gross. Y'all can say I'm being a baby about it all you want to, but until you come out here and do this, I don't want to hear anything in the comments. Oh, that's so gross. It's going to smell good when it sits in the sun, too. Mm, yep, and as soon as the gun heats up. Oh, Lord. I'm doing this for you guys. I just want to let you know. You're welcome. Oh, this is so nasty. I'm gonna, step, I'm gonna step back. <laughs> oh, it smells so bad. <laughs> oh, it's all over me. Oh, I can smell the mustard. Oh. <laughs> so gross. Okay. Okay. Palmetto State Armory is doing such a good job with their daggers these days that now they ship them with a ceramic coating. Even water doesn't stick to them. Anyway guys, that's it for today's episode of Racks and Recoil. Thanks for watching. If you have any ideas, drop them down in the comments. We'll see you next time. Even water don't stick to them. You missed completely. Even water doesn't stick to it. That's gonna... Hell. I got one. <laughs>